Hello, I'm Dr. Chaos. Welcome back to Assassin's Creed. Well, welcome to Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Um, yeah. Oh, it'll take like 30 seconds to log in. But the main thing that you get for logging in, like there's a bunch of outfits and stuff which I may just get anyway, is I did log in and then press the wrong button so it um, <coughs> left. Yeah. The fact that there's a well, obviously the multiplayer won't work anymore, new servers and all that. Um, we're going to be playing single player naturally. Uh, but the fact that I could have played Avaline... So, Avaline can be played on the standalone version, can be played through Assassin's Creed 3, can be played through Assassin's Creed 4. Um, obviously we'll then be playing Freedom Cry after Assassin's Creed. And we are Abstergo. I mean, I'm sure you guys remember what happened to Desmond at the end of 3. Ubisoft presents. So, find cannons. To find the cannons, hold the right mouse to move the mouse by the mouse to aim, then press left mouse to shoot. To, um, shoot. Sh you know, shoot the hull. I think he's still an assassin. Down stuff flames! Get in there, you mongrel! Ooh, assassin. Is it dangerous? Edward. Privateering? Is it dangerous? Wouldn't pay so nice if it weren't. Why not sail with the King's Navy? Earn a proper wage, sail under gentlemen. Sod the Navy's gentlemen. For every shilling I'd earn, the captain gets 600. That's no way to earn a fortune. We don't need a fortune. It's not about need, Caroline. 
I want food that don't make me sick. I want walls that hold back the wind. I want a decent life. H how long would you be gone with these privateers? A year, I reckon. Two at the most. All right. No more than two. Promise me. Naturally, circumstances, I don't think they would agree. <gasps> Okay, shift is back to being the sprint slash free run key. Shift is the move fast key again. Okay, tab is map. So, couple of viewpoints. So, on this island, viewpoints, chests, bunch of other things all around the place. Now the ship. Edward was one. <laughs> Templar ship, or just, you know, they just saw a random ship and decided to go after it. Hence, you know, going after the assassin, the Brotherhood. Like they do. But there's an assassin on the ship of Guardian. Was it good for you as well? Havana. I must get to Havana. Well, I'll just build us another ship, will I? I can pay you. Isn't that the sound you pirates like best? One hundred Eskimos. Keep talking. Will you or won't you? You don't have that gold on you now, do you? Do you sneak speed? Come on, mate. We're off to a bad start. How do you know the dude's name? It's a hundred leagues or more to Havana. Will you walk that distance? Obviously, we want to go up with the synchronization point. One of the great things about four, every synchronization point you can fast travel to. Oh. 
I mean, let's see what we can gather from chests and stuff in the local area. I mean, getting these chests now means I don't have to come back later to find them. Okay, so someone's letters. So yeah, great thing. There's all these other items that you can't technically find, but. It just, you know, they immediately turned into cash. But it's basically what their value is. Which I do like how... Ooh. Bone and wild pig hide. work together on this. So how much is a hundred of whatever? <laughs> I, I love it how it has the so we don't have the um, hidden blade yet, oh, obviously. But still, like, oh, oh yeah. Um, if you want to kill these um, animals, yeah, I guess we're just gonna have to pretend you have a hidden blade for the time being. Look, it, it's just better for the both of us if you don't argue. Which I do like. It, it is kind of funny how it, it. Yeah, later on using the hidden blade, but right now I'm. Um, Edward is basically just shoving his arm deep inside the. Um, animal that he is killing. makes the idea for how strong he could be really amusing. Is this a kind kind of hope it'd be carnival? Keep your distance! Duncan Walpole. An assassin.
Senor Duncan Walpole. I accept your most generous offer and await your arrival with eagerness. If you truly possess the information we desire, we have the means to reward you handsomely. Though I will not know your face by sight, I believe I can recognize the costume made infamous by your secret order. Therefore, come to Havana in haste, and trust that you shall be welcomed as a brother. Su más humilde servidor, el gobernador Laureano Torres y Ayala. Mr. Walpole, let's collect your reward. Sadly, the hidden blade is broke. <laughs> um, Walpole's hidden blades were broken, so we'll have to get replacements later. We'll now have, uh, let's just go back up so we can try to find some stuff. Edward is strong enough to just shove his hand into a animal to instantly... Uh, oh, it's up there. <coughs> to instantly kill it is kind of amusing. And I can't imagine that skinning an animal using two um, swords is really that easy. <clears throat> but I love how much of this is. Yeah, if you played, um, if you played Assassin's Creed Three, you you have. Our understanding of how to actually play this. Like, we're, we're not gonna baby you and lock everything behind some um, hidden indicator. I mean, sure, we're still lock some stuff, but not everything. Oh, there's a Jaguar. But ensuring I have a lot of cash when I get to Havana will be useful. Marks the spot.
Okay, cool. That's a shanty. Okay, so we can see huge swathes of the map. Once we get to the full zoomed out map, there is something I am going to have to check. So, both Assassin's Creed 4 and Assassin's Creed Rogue, they have, um... What, what, they, they have a bunch of extra, like, optional DLCs, which is like, oh, unlock the location of all of this stuff on your map, and all of this stuff. And etc, 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 the imperishable. Um, but basically it removes a lot of the exploring part of Assassin's Creed, like, it's... Like, so... Normally, like, you, you can manually have a look at, at, for example, an island, and you'll be able to see on that island is, like, a, there's a chest on that island, so, and that will be marked on the map, and you can go and have a look, and you'll find it. There's a cu couple of DLCs, so one of them shows where all the chests are, um, like, just entire map, always on the map, um, there's I uh, same with the other collectibles. Then there's one so to get the best of the best upgrades for your ship you need to get specific blueprints. And once you do that you can um that screw note do me just fine. And once you've done Sorry, once you've gotten the So, yeah, some upgrades are locked behind blueprints that you can find going around the map. Um, there is another one, um, thing that has that. I have... So, I downloaded everything for the game without realising that there were those DLCs, so I don't know whether it'll be a case of... Our destination is Havana. I'm just Quiet, you bleeding pirate. You'll hang for the mess of it. Stalking zones, less dense, but chasing. Yeah, basically. We know about this. Sir, I had nothing to do with this attack. My crew and I have merely anchored to water and resupply. Hold it! Stop them! Take my sugar! Take anything you like! I'll pay you! Anything you like! Oh, I missed a... Now isn't that annoying? Oh god! Oh god! So, so as I was saying, I, um... Downloaded everything. Then I went back and basically unclicked a couple of the, the DLCs. It may have... It probably still kept them on the system. Like, it probably wasn't a... Oh hey. Take my sugar. Take anything you like. It probably wasn't a case of oh, no. um I'll pay you. Anything you like. Oh, God. 
God's grace, sir. You saved me. A profusion of thanks. Is that yours? It is my vessel, yes. But uh, here lies its poor captain, and I have no art for sailing. I can pilot her myself, no mind. You don't mean to abscond with my ship, do you? I'm Duncan. What's your name, friend? Steed, Steed Bonnet. Well, Mr. Bonnet, let this stay twixt us. But I'm on a secret errand for His Majesty the King, God save him. And I must get to Havana with speed. Ah, oh, that is a relief, sir. Havana is also my destination. Our ways lie together. Natural allies, then. Ah, oh, you put me at ease, sir. To think I took you for a pirate when you first appeared. Did you? Yes. You have an uh, uncommon way of handling yourself. Quick and easy, if I may say. Gave me quite a fright. But, all things considered, I think it's turned out to be a rather fortuitous day, hasn't it? The look on his face. Wow. So, we have to meet the ship's crew. Backing but a rowboat, I'm afraid we'll have to swim to my ship. Hardly the worst thing to happen. That'll do. And how? Okay, treasure maps. On You can find treasure maps on explorers' corpses. They will lead you to specific places on islands. You can... Dig in, you might find money was planned to upgrade your ship. You you can Okay, so nine. Okay, back at the in the back end of that cave. Oh. This is Cape Bonavista. There's a couple of different types of animals on the island. So yeah, we can come back here for um animal gathering purposes. But until then, I think we're gonna have to. We're just gonna make it to that. trafficking cargo from my plantation and such. She'll do fine. There's a strong wind now. Let's strike to full, shall we? Ah, there's a tug of the wind at my hair. Ah, I find a bracing comfort in the feel and smell of the ocean. The raw stink of... of possibility. <laughs> That's a top way of seeing it, mate. 
So obviously, if you wanted to, you could, you know, manually. We've really opened it up now, haven't we? <laughs> if you really wanted to, you could manually swim all the way to Havana. Um, Those sailors were quite animated by the idea of pirates roaming these waters. Is it a real danger, do you suppose? A possibility. But most pirates stalk the windward passage between Cuba and Hispaniola. Oh, I see. Yes. That is a bustling strait. But I shouldn't worry about being waylaid by pirates, truth be told. My ship is small, and I have nothing of immense value. Sugarcane and its yields, molasses, rum, that sort of thing. <laughs> There's not a pirate living who turn his back on a keg of rum. Well, yes. Yes, I suppose that's true. Three, short north sail! Top, gallants, royals, studs! We only have access to about half the map. Until a certain event. You're a natural sailor, Duncan. I did a decent trick at the helm some time ago. Two years before the mast as a privateer. Dash my buttons. Your life seems a grand one, if I may say. So full of adventure. How marvelous. I've seen my share of strangeness, I. So you've been doing this for two years then. And yet he's not fantastic. Fantastic work. Very promising. And now the modern day segment. Alright. Easy now. There you go. Welcome back. Well, your numbers look good. Now let's make sure we can break your brain, alright? I need you to move your head and look at these lights, just here. Look up. That's it. Down. So far, so good. Let's get you up. So, welcome to the Sample 17 project. Before you get started, you're gonna need this. There you go. Testing, testing, one, two, three, hello, bonjour, c'est bon, it works. So sample 17. All right, let's take a walk. Your file says you've done some memory research before, but not to this extent, which is surprising. You're very good. The data streams are very stable. So subject 17, sorry, sample 17. Desmond was subject 17. So, I mean, it wouldn't take the Impressive, to right? That this sub. building is barely six months old. <laughs> but Abstergo course. Entertainment has been a studio for a few years, since 2010. Oh, look, there's Avalon. Maybe you saw Liberation? That was our first title powered by Animus Tech. That was just the tip of the iceberg. Soon, we'll be unveiling commercial Animus servers for the whole world to enjoy. They'll offer passive experiences, of course. Edited versions of real history. But only the exciting parts. And we think we found the perfect subject for our first full-length virtual feature. Caribbean Pirates. So that's your gig. It'll yeah. just take a minute, okay? I know you. Well, thank you, Nancy. Bon journée. Hey. Ah, yes. C'est bon. That is great. Magnifique. Merci. This is for you. The primary tool of our trade. Your communicator. Power it up and give it a look. It's pretty slick. Employee password. Your so there's information we can get get out of the team, basically. Oh, Fiddick, he's gonna live. Mm. 1937, it, Abstergo Industries is founded. 
Hmm, why don't I believe that? 37, support of workers' unions, 40. Um, uh, helps build the world back in NASA. I mean, yeah, technically. 78, the first hand was design devices created. 20, 2009, um, DNA memory is ready for public consumption. 2010, Project Legacy. 2011, multiplayer. So basically, multiplayer simulation, so basically virtual dreams. 2012, Liberation is released. <laughs> Fallen Assassin, you discovered the light with the help of the Templar Order. Obviously, we, we've we played that, we know that that is not true, um, but here's the thing, that means, assass in the Assassin's Creed universe, there are, you know, Assassin's Creed games. It's not just, oh yeah, it's going on, there's actual s series of Assassin's Creed games, this is Assassin's Creed 3 Liberation is released, that would mean, in the... So theoretically, the Templars could be real. <laughs> but yeah, basically, in the Assassin's Creed universe, at a bare minimum, the Assassin's Creed series exists. Which is interesting. Unless they, unless they just said, oh, Assassin's Creed 3 Liberation, like, the, the Assassin's Creed 3 part is just nonsense. Um, because... You know, it would be about, you know, Sean, Lucy, um, Rebecca, Desmond, etc. And it literally said, though I suppose even with their version of Liberation, they didn't exactly go, oh yeah, by the way, Absurgo, Templars, yada yada yada. So they would have modified versions of 1 through 3, obviously. Um, your role. Basically, explore someone's past. Your work hours are from 8.30 to 5.30, but feel free to start at 10. And don't be surprised if you get so absorbed in history, you sometimes forget to go home. Hmm. Everyone needs a breather once in a while. Your first week off will come after 3,000 hours in the Animus, or a year at Abstergo Entertainment, whichever comes first. It's going to fly by. The thing is, they have actual... G I, I don't know whether this is overall g like good benefits. Like, I don't exactly... Look at employee benefits of companies, but we have the best life insurance plan in the business. You have everything you need for healthy and energy. So yeah, communicator, diversity and gender equality. If you have ideas for reaching and engaging new contributors from underrepresented segments, you encourage them to contact HR. Obviously, what? Don't talk about what Assassin what um, Abstergo is actually doing, but you can go, oh yeah, I love Abstergo. Oh yeah, and it's saying be careful about what you um use digitally because you know the assassins could be hacking in. But the thing so they're they're fond of you starting late and they're like, Oh yeah, it'd be worth that's fine. Don't know whether this is considered good or not. But your first week off, like, it's saying, like, oh, yeah, after a year and or 3,000 hours, you're just going to be given, like, a week off. Um, the thing, so which is, like, if you work, like, 10 hours of, well, it'd be, like, 10 hours plus every day. And, obviously, the Animus is really immersive if you don't, like, time can pass, because remember back in Assassin's Creed 3, like, Desmond spent days in the Animus, and it just didn't seem to really notice, so... Don't know whether this is good or not, let's just say that. I mean, if you enjoy the workplace, then, sure. Benefit, yeah, yeah, burn security, don't know why that page is there, D genetic memories. Basically, so, 
Do Dr. Warren Vidic. Um, yeah, Vidic is still around. Basically, what it is, find someone's memories, get them out, explore said memories, and then edit them to be, you know, acceptable. And then the building plan, obviously. We can explore the entire you building. That security seems a little light around here. That's because your communicator is your key to getting around. See that flashing wireless signal? Sample 17. It means you're hooked up to the elevator. I'll let you do the honors. We're headed up to the Sample 17 studio, second floor. You ready? Let's go. Ah, there's the boss, Olivier Garneau, our CCO. I'll introduce you. Bonjour. Salut, Mélanie. Ça va bien? Well, thanks. Have you met our new hire? Just started today. I haven't. Bonjour. What project? Sample 17, the Kenway line. Hey, them. Connor. Edward, the pirate. Ah, are, are, maybe. <laughs> Very exciting. Welcome aboard. Uh, Melanie, can we talk in your office for a minute? Just let me get this one settled and I'll see you in five minutes. C'est bon. Nice to meet you. So, this is the Sample 17 floor. We're diving into the memories of one very generous donor, Desmond Miles. We're pulling all the best stuff from his DNA. And hopefully one day, we can forge some fantastic experiences from what we find in there. <laughs> this pair of legs is John, one of the wizards in IT. He's just fixing something for you. Not fixing, calibrating. Calibrating, right. So here we are. Your very own Animus workstation. This is all yours, so sit back, relax, and find us some good footage. If you need any hints or tips, the Animus is loaded with tutorial programs, so you'll have no problems. And I'll check in on you later. Happy pirating. So, I feel like everyone on this floor is basically going off to some specific part of his, um, his memory. So we have, I'm pretty sure we get statues of like all the characters as the longer we play. Ticket note two. Okay. Basically, there's a bunch of. I with HR, and that was the end. I can't be responsible for other people's incompetence. I know, I know. Basically, we can. Ticket note seventeen. So yeah, we can obviously do those sticky notes. Eventually we'll be able to get through lots of these doors. Some things are, we can hack basically every bit of technology. Sticky note seven. I mean, I'll read through those sticky you notes know, once I've gotten them all, most likely. Alright, so you have some of... Battle for Havana, find the sanctuary. So you are... So, so, so is the idea is that we are all... Surely you'd only need one person jumping into someone's specific memories. Like, you wouldn't need everyone jumping into these people's... Into everyone's memories. Memories like <sighs> having four. Oh yeah, the multiplayer. So multiplayer, mo the multiplayer version um, mode for the game would probably be to do with that. Um, but yeah. So it's apparent. Judging by the looks of things, it could just you know. We always put the 
but it seems to suggest that everyone is looking up into Edward's stuff. Well, obviously they would have determined that Hatham and Connor have basically nothing else they can give them. Um, but yeah. I guess the idea is, hey, in case anyone misses anything, but yeah, next time we're going to jump back into the Animus and start digging through um, Connor's memories, so yeah, um, oh, received messages. So... Cover free of a hundred bucks will be deducted from your next paycheck if you lose your communicator. Okay. Current security at level is zero as to work here in Atrium. Okay. She's busy today, but otherwise you can talk to her. Yeah, starting next next time we are gonna jump on in, so see you then. Goodbye.